Um, so the first demonstration I'm going to do, I'll be back here. Um, I'm going to react some chlorine gas. And I'll show you what the chlorine gas looks like. You can see it's slightly yellow. It's uh, there's actually quite a lot in there. It doesn't look like it, but it's only very slightly coloured. I'm going to react that chlorine gas with sodium metal, and that will make the familiar sodium chloride, which is also known as salt. And we'll do something a little bit more interesting afterwards. All right, so I've got my sodium in here. It's the darker <laughs> drops of metal. Some of you probably won't be able to see it, but the darker pieces are in there. What's in that, water? No, this is under oil, because sodium will actually explode under under water. Okay. <laughs> um, it's quite uh, unpredictable stuff, but I've tried this one before, so there's nothing for you guys to worry about. <laughs> it's very soft, it's like cheese. So what I'm going to do is squish it on the end of this. Can you hear me, by the way? Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm going to squish it on the end of this tube, and then I will put the whole thing down in the chlorine, and I'll poke it off using this piece of wire, and usually it won't go at that stage. It, there won't be any reaction at that stage. It's possible there will, but usually it won't. And when it goes, what, what we'll need to do to make it go, rather, is add just a drop or two of water, and that will dissolve the coating of sodium chloride that's already formed on the outside and allow the reaction to really go. Okay? So, I'll take myself a piece of sodium. That looks exciting. All right. Sure, should be scared. Wash that in hexane. That'll just get the oil off. that around a little bit, let the hexane evaporate. The hexane is flammable, I don't want any more flame than necessary. Alright, so you'll see no reaction yet, although some of the people who are close might be able to see a few crystals forming on the sodium. I'll poke that down. It might go now. Smoke in there? Yeah. That white smoke is sodium chloride. That's salt. So can I have some left for the burger right there? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Nevertheless, it would work the same if we could be sure it was pure. Yeah. 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 Alright, so that's sodium chloride. I don't even need salt, but I'll try this one. Bit of a stink coming from the chlorine there. Um, that's sodium chloride. Some of the chemistry students here might be able to tell me. What's more reactive than sodium? Another metal that's a bit more reactive than sodium. I showed you guys some of it earlier. Potassium. Potassium. Right. So let's make this a bit more fun. Let's make it a bit more reactive. So okay. now I'm going to make potassium chloride. So let's stand back here four feet. <laughs> 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 Potassium is a similar metal to sodium. It also explodes on contact with water and it's also quite soft and it will certainly react with this chlorine. Around it. Gee, we just watch it from the video camera. This one is more likely to go immediately than the other one. All right. This one still needs a drop of water. Last time I did this, it didn't. There's some reaction going on there because the water is being pushed out the tube. Yeah. 
Yeah. You hit. Starting to react. I'm having trouble going now. Oh, this is great. solid formed in the form of a, a, a fog. Attention please, with Paul Greening, please come to the main office, Paul Greening. That fog is, this time it's potassium chloride, which actually tastes fairly similar to salt, although it's, uh, it's more expensive to make. Obviously this isn't the way that salt is actually really made. It. What is that, MSG? Uh, no, MSG was a completely different compound. Um, it's much more complex than salt. Um, okay. You're going to need the second one, maybe, sir. Oh yes, it's potassium chloride. Yeah. Um, so potassium chloride is very similar to salt, but uh, it's, it's still much similar, uh, much simpler than uh, MSG. So I'm going to ask my chemistry students one more time. Uh, we've used sodium <coughs> and chlorine, and we've used <coughs> potassium and chlorine. How could we make this reaction a little bit more violent? Add nitrogen. Pardon? Add nitrogen. Uh, <laughs> nitrogen make a difference, but it, it's not what we're going to do. Now let's, we've chosen one more reactive alkali metal. Go down again. Let's choose a Chlorine. more reactive halogen. Chlorine or some sulfur. Bromine. So we're going to take the bromine, absolutely. Oh. So bromine and potassium put together, that will make potassium bromide. And the difference here Can is that... that the clean cuts? Uh, potassium bromide, yes, oh, uh, maybe. Uh, more iodide than bromide, but I, perhaps they use bromides as well, I'm not sure. Um, but the, the big difference here is that bromine is a liquid, whereas chlorine is a gas. It's quite hard to make a gas react with a solid. As you saw, I had to do a little bit of extra poking around to make it work. Now, we're going to have a liquid <coughs> and a solid, and that will react much more easily. So, I've got a different setup for this one, which has explosions in mind. Because this one will be an explosion. <coughs> All right, so an explosion? Beaker, I made by myself. <laughs> <laughs> you will see how it works in a minute. See, these are great. I'm going to stick the potassium oh, on the end of here. see what's going to happen, I think. I'm going to put this down inside the bromine, and as I do that, that DVD on the end there will cover up the top of the surface, thus protecting me from any explosions. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys are ready, I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Everybody ready? Ready.